right, it's Thursday. It's early, like 9.25. Um, I had to get out of the city. Well, I left the city kind of early yesterday. Um, the rain was coming. I was able to meet up with Bailey. I gave her a bunch of winter clothes. Um, I did a bunch of interviews. Uh, went pretty well. I'm gonna be doing as many interviews as possible over the next couple of days, so if I do start that job, I still have content to give you guys every day. Or as much as possible. How cool is that though, guys? A million views in less than 90 days. I still can't believe that. It's so uh, crazy to think about. But I, I appreciate it all. I really do. The, uh, wow. The um, park is still clean. I'm going to go ride around that one. Uh, you know, in my loop, I'll show you guys. I started a TikTok and I just started putting all the um, videos on there too. And I got more subs on TikTok in a week than I do have here, which is crazy. But um, it's just, it's the same name as this. It's just, it's nothing new. Um, it's literally all the uh, same videos as here. Uh, it just seems like TikTok loves those videos just as much. Um, I almost have a million views there, and it's less than two weeks old, so, you know, that's, it's pretty exciting. Um, yeah, I already have more followers over there, but, you know, I'm going to focus on YouTube, that's all I'm, I care about YouTube, but I'm just going to slowly keep adding the stuff over there, and if, you know, I can get some more support and donations from that way, it'll be awesome, and I'm going to, um, uh, start the P.O. box this week at some point. Maybe today I'll go get that. Um, everyone keeps asking for one, so I'm just going to do that make it easier. Um, I've had uh, no luck locating people. Well, actually, that's a lie. I, I found um, I found this girl yesterday. Uh, but all, all the loved one wanted me to do was, you know, make sure she was alive, get a picture, just so she, you know, they just wanted to see if she was still, you know, at least her heart was still breathing, and she was alive and kicking, and she was, so that was good. something cool happened my uh a kid I grew up with um who I mean I've known for 30 years uh so I just want like I haven't told any of my friends family anything about me doing this channel real uh I kind of well I mean like my mom dad know my brother stuff like that but I haven't like been like promoting it I don't even talk about it on my Facebook page But well, anyway, I, you know, I either use Facebook. I just, I'm always getting put in Facebook jail because of the stupid memes I post. So I just keep Facebook to laughing with my friends. But anyway, my friend just reached out to me. He's like, dude, I've been watching this guy give interviews for the last month and a half on YouTube. And I'm completely hooked on it. And he's like, I had no idea it was you until I looked at your live. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. He was like, I'm hooked on the channel. He's like, I can't believe it's you, you idiot. <laughs> uh, so that, that felt good. Um, that looks cleaned up underneath the bridge. 
bridge again. take a mirror out for breakfast today if I could find her no maybe I could hopefully so bad but she's always so high it's hard to find her um, when she's coherent enough to do it why am I going this way I'm not sure if everybody heard, but Amber screwed up again. She was in the hospital again last night. Um, she, she messaged me yesterday to tell me about it, and I am going to go see her today and hear what's going on. But, yeah, she messed up again. So, that's, luckily, they, they saved her, but, you know, it's... She's running out of chances, if you know what I mean. It's, they're only gonna be able to save her so many times. So there's not someone around her. You know, it's, it's sad to say, but it's just part of the uh, nature of the beast the addiction. I, I, I don't see her making it out here too much longer. Which is sad. Uh, but it's, you know, it's real life. Real life. Even Bailey, I don't. It, she, when I talked to her yesterday, she said she was going to get treatment this week. Right. Um, hopefully she does. I don't. I uh, I like to be optimistic when I speak to them about treatment, but you know, I uh, I realize the realities of it, and you know, most of them won't go. Almost all of them. But you try and be uh, optimistic when they tell you they're gonna go, and you know, just. Hope for the best, but you know, it rarely, uh, rarely happens.
But like I said, hopefully she goes. Um, uh, Bailey said she's like, she, cause she is looking rough out here. So she said, uh, when I gave her the clothes yesterday, she said she was trying to go to rehab by Friday, which is tomorrow. So, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully she goes. She does need to go. I'll, I'll drive her there. I'll sit with her in the, you know, I'll sit with her in the um, waiting room for detox, whatever it takes. I just, she just gotta say yes, which is the, the uh, hard problem. I see the, the um, other than that guy shooting up right there. The uh, park is really clean. Clean-ish. Now I'm going to go back up. Uh, check out underneath. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, underneath. Where uh, the last stop is. I'm going to do that quick loop. And then I will shut this off and focus on getting some more interviews today. I have some more uh, clothes I want to hand out too. I said I'm gonna go down here this is Somerset we're coming up on now I'm gonna go down here and see if I see anyone around the last stop who knows That's the name of it. That's right. That's right. Let's see. Uh, this is Jasper. Um, this is like a little side street a lot of people um, tend to stay on. Cambria Street here. Back in the day when I used to come. Back in my day. Sound like a old miserable boomer. Um, so back in my day, Cambria was like up, you know, second in Cambria, B, D, F, eight, seven. That's where you went up. You know, up way up to the left. On the other side of Kensington into North Philly. That's where all the uh, the drug blocks were. Where all the, you know, the open air drug market is. 
maybe one day I'll go make a video of that. If there's not, I don't, I just, I don't want to video people selling drugs. I, I, I really don't feel like getting shot in the face here in Philly doing this. So. But maybe I can, what I do want to, wish I could do is show you where the, uh, the, um, the bridge that I used to go underneath to, to get high and all that. Um, it used to be a, a big place where everyone went. It's the Master Street Bridge. It was uh, huge in the, um, back in the day. And But there's also a, a, an old factory. I can't remember the name. Someone in the comments brought it up. There was a huge factory where everybody got high. You know, it was back when I was down here getting high, you needed to hide. You could not, you could not get high in, in public like this, or you'd go to jail. 